Hello, my name is Shailesh and this video demonstrates the implementation of the SCADA system. This is the overview of how we implemented the SCADA. We use Visual Studio, OPC Server, SQL Server and that's it. And one more thing, Irwin Data Modeler for building the data, Microsoft SQL Server for managing the database and Visual Studio for making the apps. Demonstrate the SCADA, we need a process. So for that, we implemented air heater model. Uh, we have made a simulation in Visual Studio for that. This is the overview table, which shows the type of systems we have in our SCADA system and the flow of data from one system to another and the software we use for that. So let's see the SCADA system in action. This is the control system which is, which is made in Visual Studio using C Sharp, which is the simulation of an air heater model. This a temperature set point, environment temperature, input voltage and the, and the output temperature. This is the bridge application which gets the data from the OPC and sends the data to the SQL. This is our metric on OPC Explorer which shows the values of the from the metric on OPC server. This is the NI distributed system manager from which we retrieve the data to send to the SQL. So I will just to run the control system and we can see the simulation we can see the output temperature is rising according to the set point and the corresponding output input voltage I will write all this data to the SQL which will begin writing to the SQL server so you know database is the main thing which lies in the center of the SCADA system so this is the structure of our database we have generated alarm, alarm configuration, alarm priority, measurement table, and tech configuration. And the data which is initially stored in it is as follows. The tech configuration involves the control signals information which we will retrieve from the control system. We are getting four signals from the control signal control system. One is the output temperature, environment temperature control signal of the PID controller and the set point and the alarm priority table contains one two three all our alarms which are generated will be classified according which will be given the alarm priority ID according to the trigger which we have stored and we have 13 alarm configuration IDs for the all our measured values so this is the table where our generated alarms will be displayed you we can see now this is empty and this is the table where our measurement measured values will be stored so this is the database system and this is the home page of the alarm system which will just display the alarms Now you can see we have no alarms right now. So for generating alarms, I will, am purposefully giving the temperature set point to 40 because to generate the alarm. So let's see, I will just run it and I will write everything to the SQL database. You can see the status which is connected. Okay, so our control system is running and it is continuously giving the data to our database. Let's see. Okay, so here it is. Our values are getting stored in the database. And let's see. Yeah, we have generated three alarms till now. The alarm configuration ID 1. First alarm is given alarm configuration ID 1 which means it is the output temperature high high alarm and also the activation time is stored 
so alarm configuration one also has the alarm priority which is the high priority alarm so let I will refresh it again okay so we have some more values here and we let's see if we generated the alarms okay now it is work it is working let's see if it if the alarms are displayed on our web page okay so we have alarms so this is the web page which is displaying the alarms which is generated in the control system uh, which device with the alarm is associated with what is the comment alarm priority and the time if I press this button all the alarm the alarm will get acknowledged okay so we can acknowledge the alarms so you can see this much alarms are generated so yeah our this is how we implemented the SCADA system also we have some additional information here like we can have the we can see the chart of the output temperature of the air heater then and the same charts for every other signal like the set point was the same only I haven't changed the set points check alarm tabs okay these are the softwares which we used for implementing the system and this was made by me and my two colleagues Nicholas and Anas uh, I especially want to thank professor Hans Peter Halverson for guiding us through our SCADA assignment